I'm glad that Valve and their Steam servers are allowing everything on said platform. You know, there was a controversy about the school shooting game and Valve wanted to implement policies for Steam in terms of not allowing certain types of games and pretty much putting censorship on art, if you will. Yes, I know that there's shovelware on Steam and there's people trolling. Obviously, Valve is going to take care of the trolling and anything that they deem illegal. Now, in terms of shovelware, obviously, there's no plan for that. And people over the years have com complained about shovelware on Steam, similar to the Android App Store. But the thing is that they're making a good decision. Because when I was coming up, and I'm talking single-digit ages, Night Trap was controversial. And that was by way of the old gatekeepers and putting that on Sega CD. Mortal Kombat, which I play in the arcade, still single digit years old. Playing that in the arcade and then on the home console. That was controversial. So controversial that the government got involved and you had the ESRB rating system put in place because of Mortal Kombat. Then you had Grand Theft Auto, which was somewhat controversial in the early PlayStation days. But obviously it got more controversial as the graphics improved and storylines improved, things of you know, things of that nature. And that brings me back to the point because hey, video games still are a creative release, a creative outlet. Yes, you're gonna have people doing certain things that may offend a lot of people, but that comes with the territory. When you remove the traditional gatekeepers and the traditional gatekeepers were in place because there wasn't digital distribution yet. 90s, early 2000s, you still rely on CDs as your main form of distribution because if you didn't have access to, to a DSL, T1, T2, T3 kind of line, you probably had dial-up for the most part. You probably wasn't really getting into broadband until the early 2000s and that was still limited. Not everyone jumped on board immediately. Because I've been playing PC games for, you know, back in the day, late 90s, early 2000s. Quake 2, Unreal Tournament, Quake 3 Arena, Half-Life, Counter-Strike, Team Fortress Classic, The Sims. That's when I was really into it even tribes tribes too i think and i've played asian empires etc i was really into computer games at that point obviously i stopped around 2003 2004 before steam even existed actually steam probably came out late 2003 but i remember the one won server for counter strike i remember games by 3d for finding games Multiplayer games to play as well. Game Spy, Game Spy 3D, Game Spy Arcade. I can take it back to that point. And they had trolls in those games as well. Even though not a lot of people were using microphones, I definitely wasn't. But you had people that would, you know, type all kinds of crazy things, do the teabag and whatever they do nowadays. That you still hear about that was going on back in the late 90s early 2000s people were saying all kinds of things but you know that just came with the territory people wasn't freaking out about that you knew what you're gonna expect you got people in that gonna be saying crazy things still when they had aol chat rooms aim chat rooms you know it was gonna be going down in there people gonna be trolling people gonna say something racist misogynist etc i mean that was just part of what displayed on there but you ain't pay that no mind because you know what kind of demographic especially at that time it was limited to other people but you know you just did your thing maybe you want to talk some trash and get a high score and and do your thing back then but obviously since gaming and pc gaming has got a lot of other people involved in it it's become a 
a bigger issue and especially when we got people doing these streams and more using mics they know who you are what you sound like and that's going to cause something different i was never into that i'm still not into that i just like the little typing things out if i were to do it even on some modern game consoles and just go go about it from there i ain't trying to hold no conversation while you're playing this game i'm just gonna put in that work and do what i do but the point is that you really don't want to get into the censorship business because you don't know what you're holding back yeah you want to scan for quality if you can and that's important which needs to be done and I don't want to claim like I'm some expert on this because I haven't really PC game since the early 2000s. I barely console game now. I still got a PS3, which I got, you know, 2010 or so and had different PS3s. And before that, I had a 360. 360 was number one console. But then PC, PS3 came through and surpassed it. I need to get a PS4. <laughs> and get myself modernized but you know I play games when it's hot on the console from the we could say earlier 90s even going back to the Game Boy all the way up until maybe 2013 2014 you know fairly regularly playing the 2Ks of the world, NBA 2Ks of the world, checking out the Mortal Kombat's, the Ridge Racers, the Tekkens, some stuff on the 360, Gears of War, etc. You know, not as much as I played games mid-90s to the early 2000s, but I'm still a gamer at heart. And I want to be able to play more. Looking forward to getting that PS4. But it, it, I think it's just a great time nowadays. We don't have the necessary, the, you know, the old school gatekeepers in place. And that can't even be seen when it comes to music and music streaming. The difference is, you might not have that machine promoting you. Promoting you. you have to go out there and promote yourself. And get in front of people's faces. And, and you know, that's the thing that can be kind of off-putting for some people they can't just release a game because it's not like they with a big corporation to have somebody promote it no nah, you gotta get out there try to get on social media maybe even try to get out there in public get out there in news articles and promote what you're doing but i'm getting a little off base right now i think you have to let the people decide what kind of censorship needs to needs to happen there's always going to be a market for certain things and you're going to say hey i don't want to see this kind of offensive game I don't want people making money off that subject, but guess what? People are buying it. So I don't want to say that's an indictment on culture, but maybe, maybe it is. Maybe you want to, you know, take it up with the people, with the culture, because you don't want, you really don't want to go back to those traditional game keepers, gatekeepers, where you can't easily create a product and put it out there without having to go through traditional means and having a whole you know a certain person or you're in a certain lo locale this cuts this out it's democratized nowadays and that's a good thing and a lot of times with that you don't get stuff that's just outright offensive or trolling but also you don't get some creative works that will push boundaries and will push limits and you value that way down a case-by-case -case basis based on where you stand based on where the public stands and sometimes you let something crazy out there and see what happens Especially when you're dealing with something creative in this nature. But the big thing is quality. And I think a lot of these people, including Steve, need to work on quality control. That's the main thing. Saying, hey, hold up. These graphics, these assets you use, wait a minute. It's off. It needs to be a little bit more refined. Your control system is off. Can you refine a little bit? Can you refine this and this to flush out that creativity, to flush out that art? That's my take as a person that's played video games across several decades. That started in terms of a console with a Game Boy while it was still hot. 
still in production, 8-bit, playing at Sega Genesis, playing at PlayStation, playing at Dreamcast, that Xbox, trying out a Saturn, having an N64, PS2, cheapest DVD player, Xbox 360, PS3, playing mobile games on modern day phones. That's just my take. Not a person that's seen all the video games going back to the Ataris. I've seen an NES, tried it out, but that was still kind of before my time. So I, you know, but I played in the arcades when they still had arcades. Pac-Man when they have a Pac-Man machine at the laundromat coming up. Arcades where they had Terminator 2, their Judgment Day with that with that gun. The Mortal Kombat's, the Street Fighters, the Simpsons game, you played at the arcade. Played it in the arcade. Before the arcade it was just Dave and Busters. A lot of malls had arcades. It's come from my perspective. And I've seen things being controversial back in the day. Also, I've seen gatekeepers in terms of a lot of creative endeavors. But that's more democratized and you can get yourself out there. Even when in terms of YouTube, you'll be relegated to public access. But now you got a big platform, a democratized platform in terms of YouTube to get out your, your message, your entertainment, your talents, etc. So no, I don't want to take steps backwards. I'm saying you push up on limits and you see what happens. And in certain cases, you may have to pull something back. And that's fine. And I understand these are private businesses. They can do what they want. But I suggest to people keep an open mind about, hey, sometimes you're going to be offended. Can you accept a little bit of offense? push creativity forward and to keep something going that's democratized and not complain because you could release something too and you don't want to deal with that as well and maybe you just want to fire back somebody could put something that offends you maybe you can fire back yourself maybe more types of people need to get involved when it comes to creating games not just gaming itself but creating games but I'm getting kind of long-winded but I want to say that I support Valve and Steam and what they are trying to accomplish, what they're trying to maintain in terms of being this democratic force, removing the traditional gatekeepers. I'm always going to applaud that. Even sometimes there's a possibility that people can be offended. That's just my take. Iceberg Jim out. Deuces.